I approach him and I say, "Hey, man, I noticed you 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 have an issue." Hey, walking. I've been watching you for the last <laughs> couple of weeks. That's what he heard. No matter you, what you if, said. If you look up there at aisle three, you'll see my producer so, with yeah. freaking so, doll recorder. Hey, man, I just want to let you know, I've been watching you behind your back for the last few times I've been So, as I tell the story, Chris presents it. It just sounds, sounds a little weird, <laughs> don't it? <laughs> Stop talking to strangers. Welcome back to your favorite Monday, 12 o'clock podcast coming out of Dublin, Georgia. The one and only coffee and ketchup. That's right. Gang, gang. Uh, we're still in a little Theo Vaughn mode. You know what I mean? Oh, still God, pretty yeah. turned up from the from the show. What a great day. We'll sure we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing really well. Uh, maybe on work, off work, whatever you're doing. Uh, listening on YouTube, listening on something else. We're glad that you tuned in. We greatly appreciate it. Last two, three, four uh, videos have actually done pretty well uh, compared to some of our not so well videos, and that's all thanks to y'all. We appreciate it. We appreciate everything you continue to do for us. All the love, and support you continue to give to us through subscribes and comments and likes on the video. Uh, we we are grateful for it, uh, and we want to know. We want to make sure that you know we are grateful for it. Are you creeped out yet? Huh? You, Just a little bit. You right yes, there. I right am. there looking at me in yes. the eyes right now. Are you creeped out yet? Because if you are, you should hit that subscribe <laughs> button. Maybe smack the like button a little bit. Just click. Just a click on the like button. They're hitting you know? the unsubscribe button. They're never watching You think again. so? You think so? <laughs> I do stuff like that. when Shelly looks at me and just like, what What was I thinking? <laughs> Maybe I have mental health issues. Probably. Uh, well, yeah, welcome back. We appreciate it. Episode 43, I believe, today. Uh, it's exciting time. It's a great day to be alive. All right, so listen. So um, did. I got to stop this guy. I have <laughs> got to stop this that guy. That was so good, YouTube's going to copyright strike it. They probably like, are. Oh, my God, they're playing music. <laughs> I could have shazam that right then and it pulled up Travis Tritt. Uh, you can get that played on the classic country jukebox. I love, I, I, love the, I love the werewolf in that song. Ah, <laughs> That's my that's favorite. I used to play that song on that's, full moon nights. That's the nights, American bro. werewolf in the boonies. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be riding in the car, man. That 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 song would come on, and I'd be looking up at the full moon, just scratching that at the would. window for I'll... other reasons. Yeah. That's hey, called so, LSD, children. Have you ever heard of you, Mary? U M A R Y. I do not believe so. Derek, you've heard of you, Mary, right? I have. Tell us what Derek you Mary is. Yeah, 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 oh, man, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. Come on, bro. Yeah, uh, it's supposed do. to help with joints and okay, pain. Okay, okay. And it's, it's, yeah. It's a medication <laughs> in pill form. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to learn from Derek. Derek go, Lamar. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, no. So I, want, I want you to say what you Mary is. That is. Oh, above. It's, you have a very cute it's some, storage facility above your toilet in the spare. Is that what it is? Every exactly. time I go to, to it, it used take to be. a leak, I'm glad you said that, bro. Mary. That that helps the story. Yeah. I thought you would relapse. That is my you marry that know you've been seeing in the you ball. You marry kratom or you marry THC pill. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I took sixteen of them. It didn't really do nothing. That I goes felt, along maybe with your story. Wrong. That goes. Okay. That's perfect, bro. <laughs> Listen, man, God, I love this unplanned stuff. No it's, whiteboard today, by the way. It's to help joint pain. Okay, and well, who who you. who takes it? Mama. Our mother takes yes. it. Okay. It's very yes. harmless. Sharon's it's, you marry. It's yes. Sharon's you marry. Yeah. Fair enough. Matter of fact, I was having shoulder pain six months ago. Couldn't sleep on left or right side. I had to try to sleep on my stomach. Can't stand it. Oh, man. Let's go back to sleeping in just a second. I got a funny Mom story. tells me I've been taking this stuff her friend told her about called you marry, and she called it the miracle drug. I get a little bit you hesitant. Marry miracle. I get a little bit hesitant when someone tells me about a miracle drug because I know Same how that turned out Oxycontin. last time. You know, I remember how that turned out last time. So, have you ever tried oxycotton? <laughs> Would you consider it to be a miracle drug? Carry on with your story. <laughs> so, no side road today. Yeah, but that's exactly what I'm talking about, Chris. Yeah. So, 
I tried the U Mary, some of hers, and you can order it on Amazon. Derek, Derek's mama's plug. Okay, yeah. so I really so, am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thanks, Jeff. So I, I've I got one. Up. I got. I got about three yeah, three right. days left. Will you Nick, order me some more? His <laughs> nickname two, is two days shipping. We sure can, Derek. His nickname we'll is Tacoma. Right she said, "Hey, holler at Tacoma. <laughs> that cause Cadillac used to be my plug." <laughs> Jeff is Tacoma. Oh. Y'all holler at Tacoma. Your boy got that you marry on deck. Boy, hey, you stopped up, right? Mama gotta, gets me on like... you marry. That's okay. that's the gist of this. Okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, now is this like a <laughs> a legitimate like chemical thing? Or yeah, is this yeah, it's, be it's, like it's, a more it's, no, natural and no, it's definitely spinach, it's definitely please. something. It's definitely something that your body herbal, makes herbal. Or it's something. more like a, a vitamin it's, than it yeah. is like an herbal. Supplement. Yes, it's like a vitamin type. Um, like what do you call it? Like when you when you uh, when it's made in a laboratory or something? Meth. Synthesized. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever had meth from a laboratory. Actually, a trailer park. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I meant to say bathtub, not laboratory. Gotcha. There yeah. you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Uh, it 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 replicates something that the body already does, like lubricates the joint. There's yes, a lubricant it. between it. the joints. Yep. Okay? WD forty. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what this does. And yep. I'm telling you, bro, it is a miracle drug. It works okay. by the by the first time I taken it by that night, I was able to sleep on my side. Okay, so I I, I I've gotten better in time, and I don't, I don't take them anymore. But that's what you were seeing above the sure, you know, the toilet in in the, in the guest bathroom. Probably had seven or eight of them in that bottle that I haven't taken in about three months. So my, obviously non-habit for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my, bu- <laughs> my buddy. I'm not sure if I let ibuprofen sit around that man. I'm like, I'll take me a couple. Just, I, know, I know I'll probably be hurting later. I'll go take a couple. <laughs> Your buddy. Sometimes, some days, I did get worried because some days after a good shoulder lift, I'd come in. <laughs> Is this going to be enough? I'm going to take a couple extra. <laughs> My buddy that goes to the gym, he, he was, he's telling me about his shoulder bothering him. So I thought about it, and I said, hey, man, I got something that might help you. So this is all the background of the story. Anabolic steroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not Sing giving my cheek. steroids away, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look, real quick, look, the first time uh, – I, since I've known Brian, like the first time he got like really, really sick or whatever, he called me up and he was like, "Dude, the doctor just gave me some steroids for this cold, but I'm about to get jacked. <laughs> I'm about to be huge." <laughs> he said, "That's not the same type of steroids." <laughs> hey, maybe, man. I was maybe excited for I was excited for a couple of hours pounds. until yeah. I called you. Thought like prednisone was gonna really get him. Like I was, God, I was in there, bro. Up, I was in there until I wasn't. <coughs> so I tell my I tell my buddy Zach I'm like I got I got some uh some stuff to call you Mary and I have I have checked with everyone in my recovery circle that knows medicine that it's made cool. sure that hey this is safe to take and if all you're that, leaving you know. seven or eight in the bottle it must be yeah 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 it must be safe. yeah so all right so now that's the story so I ended up giving them to Zach he took one or two of them he said man this is like crazy I can't believe this is helping my shoulder like it is so I said hey you can have the rest of them I don't take them so I gave him that bottle now. Carl, who was on, obviously, you guys know, on the show the last two episodes, is is going. He, we're all riding together. It's it's me and Aaron in the front, Carl in the back. We're going to see Theo Vaughn. We get into Atlanta. My mom calls because she's wanting to make sure her ducks are on the pond. Sure, sure. And if they're safe. So she calls. I don't know what that means. She calls. It's going over the uh, the speakers in the Tahoe. She says, "How's it going?" Da 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 da. Carl has n- no idea. I mean, he's seen he's seen mom's episode of the podcast. Has never really interacted. with Never Sherry. really interacted with my mom. Sure, sure. But this is the conversation that Carl hears. Okay. <clears throat> you still got some of that, you Mary? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you still got some of those pills? <laughs> I said, no, ma'am. I ain't, I don't have them anymore. Uh oh. I told you <laughs> I needed them. <laughs> No, ma'am, you did oh, not. Man, Sharon. No, yes, she no, ma'am, did. No, ma'am, you did not. Yes, she I, did. I, I told you a few weeks ago I was about to run out and I needed them. <laughs> and, and, and at this point, we're hitting downtown, bro. Like we're we're in the heart. She of did. T- you were supposed to take them by there to her when I dropped her last supply. Well, I didn't. 
I dropped her supply off, and I said, I didn't. let him keep those. I dropped off her one as dose. An emergency, <laughs> as an emergency supply. Well, I didn't. I didn't she'll remember order, none of that. She should have got her two bottles. I didn't remember <laughs> none of that. So, Listen, one is too many, and a thousand <laughs> is never <laughs> enough, Derek. I'm letting my customer down, though. Go ahead, yeah. Brian. Oh, you got to step up your game over there, Tacoma. I guess so. Listen. Listen, Xterra is going to pop up and start stealing. You never clients, know, bro. You, know I mean? you never know. Titans on the prowl, son. <laughs> Go, Watch ahead. Out. Go ahead, because I can't wait to see. So listen, Carl's like, "What? The, what the hell, man?" And I'm like, "She's hooked, bro." Like, what, She's what hooked. Can we say? And I you said, "Mom, I, I, I never told you I was bringing. Yet I, I'm about to be out." <laughs> Mama, you're not going to go in the withdrawals. He goes, okay. what in the hell are y'all talking about? And I go, Oxycontin. it's these miracle pills, man. Don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah. You don't want none of this like the Dewey Cox you, stories? You can't deal with this. You don't life. want none of this, Dewey? Yeah. But that was the conversation. She she literally was like, I'm about to run out. I don't know Fainting. what I'm going to do if I run out. Mama, Jamie, you're, you're probably going to feel like you have the flu. You'll be in the bed for about <laughs> three or four days. <laughs> Why hadn't she Drink reached out and asked me for some more then? Well, I, I don't know, Derek. Huh. I don't know. I don't know, but don't don't fear. She's got two bottles on the way. Oh, she does. She's yeah, gonna we, have to stay in bed. Okay, you got. Okay, good. Yeah, we, yeah. I'm glad you. In got. downtown Atlanta, they were ordered as oh, we're riding. That is funny. To the Fox Theater. That is funny. Poor Sharon. He was tripping though, man. Carl was like, "I feel like I'm listening to a mom and a son that are strung out on oxygen." That's you know? funny. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much what the next best about. thing, Carl. So, can I tell y'all a story about you, Mary? <gasps> I'd love for you to. So. This is, y'all are going to really get on me about this, but this happened about six months ago. I was at a local grocery store. The Kroger? No. Uh, and I overheard this gentleman talking to somebody else. Oh, my God. He jumped in there and told him about you, Mary. Derek, stop talking let me, to let me, people. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell y'all. It's so, not your radio show. So, <laughs> so. And even then, they called you first. I know. So, I, this guy's. The hell is wrong with this guy's I don't know, stocking man. stocking the uh, chicken drum the drumsticks, and I overhear him telling you know yeah I got real bad gout and I'm going hmm. I'm, and, and I'm talking cuz can't cuz having a hard time walking I'm talking it look it, it looks painful to me the, and the guy's probably in his thirties early thirties I'm guessing I can see Derek at the grocery store with one of them big old things you know about they have on the sidelines of the football game. <laughs> <laughs> You just being up in everybody's business. They're just there. Got the headphones on. They're just there. I just JJ J- J- yes. JJ yes. said something to me before. If we're out somewhere, she's like, "You just got to be embarrassed." What are you? Her. What are you looking at? I'm just going. I'm just looking around. I'm just, I'm very observant. You're looking's okay. I'm very observant. So, so anyway, I tell my I leave out of the store. I go in there often, and I was like, you know. I feel I feel led. I need to tell this guy about you, Mary. Wrong, <laughs> wrong. I mean, and that's where you messed up. Everything in the story is okay. So that thought next, wrong. Not, within a week, I'm back in the store. So you said that to her? No, 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 no. I said you it to myself. myself that time. You got to run that through a filter, Derek. Yeah. Not your filter. That's what we do in recovery. So, if we have a thought, we got to so, double check with other people to make you sure you need that's a sponsor. Okay. So yeah. I said, you need something. Next time I go, help. next time I go in there, he's in there. And I approach him. <laughs> oh my God. He works there. The, oh, he, he's got. He, what are the chances? He's, of like he's got to. He's got to talk to me because he works there. Is he there. still standing there in pain from the last week? <laughs> no, but he's still in I pain. Ain't able to move. I, I, can, need to, Derek, I ain't been me. home in a week. Derek, I'm just me. saying. I'm just saying the guy. The guy's in bad pain. So anyway, I make my way around the store, and he's out there burning one. And as I, you walked on to as I, as I, as I, as I, as I, as as I'm leaving, I approach him and I've already gone on Amazon and, and taken a picture of the you Mary. And I oh said, my God. <laughs> I said, <laughs> So you had like visual representation. You're yeah. not even just like in passing, like, hey man, I, I try think some you are the plug. The so I go, I go. Oh, he's praying on people. Eight, yeah, I approach, I approach the guy. Oh, I got something to help you out, my boy. <laughs> hey, listen, he probably got a he probably got a big old pack of them ten ten bags up there where you can slip one new berry in. He's gonna start individualizing the pills. <laughs> he's the guy. He is the man. So he I, is the plug I, I, on I the new I approach Mary. him. I approach him and I say, "Hey, man, I noticed you 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 have an issue." Hey, walking. I've been watching you for the last couple of weeks. That's what he heard. 
No matter you, what if, you said. If you look over there at aisle three, you'll see my producer Sonny, with yeah. freaking Sonny. dome recorder. Hey, man, I just want to let you know, I've been watching you behind your back for the last few times I've been So, <laughs> so I'm telling the story Chris presents it. It does sound sounds a little weird, <laughs> don't it? <laughs> Stop talking to strangers. So I go up to the guy. Hey, man, I noticed you've been limping a lot. <laughs> This, this don't sound nothing like a damn Can commercial. You imagine and I see, <laughs> some stranger just goes, like, hey, I man, see. I've been I've been noticing that you don't walk correctly. <laughs> I've been noticing that there's something wrong with you. I've seen it the last two or three times I was in here. And, and he had a captive audience. The guy couldn't leave. He's on his job. But he's on, on his break. And limping. Yeah. He's on his break. He's outside smoking. Run away. And he it took him 15 there. minutes to get there from the pro, from the for the beat department. <laughs> Breaks I mean, over. I'm serious. Why man, do you know that sad. number? It's sad. Did you watch him for 15 minutes? No, it just he just rewinded the tape. He walks. He it. walks that slow. I'm just saying it, it. It pains me to see him. This kid's younger than me. <laughs> so anyway. I approached him, and I got a picture of him. I said, hey, man, I noticed you've been limping. I said, this is some stuff right here you can order off Amazon. It's non-addictive. Uh, it's called You Mary. You I didn't said, say it was non-addictive, did Yes. You? I said, my brother takes Why it. Why would you say <laughs> this- <laughs> I didn't want him to think I was I was working listen, for Amazon. Now you just pretty much consider him a junkie. So, hey, brother, listen. It looks like you may have some problems with pain it. pills. You know my I mean? mama takes it. You know. He's an addict. He said he ain't hooked on it at <laughs> all. You look like you might be an addict. So, <laughs> so I, said, you know, I okay. said, have you got your phone with you? And he said, yeah, I do. I said, well, why don't you take a picture of this? That way you can look. At, you can do some research on it. God. And that's, I swear that's what I did. And then when I walked away, and I'm going to be very honest with y'all please, and, and the viewing or listening audience. Don't back up now. I felt I felt like a creeper because <laughs> I did. As well you should. <laughs> because it wasn't, I didn't feel like he received it real well. I doubt oh my, did. What's to receive, Derek? The you marry. <laughs> <laughs> the drugs, and, obviously. And, and the markup I've got on him <laughs> when he runs yeah. out. But... <laughs> I've seen him. See, I've seen him numerous times since. Is he walking better? <clears throat> no. No. And then he didn't order it. No. And I want to say he something mean, to him, but I'm a miracle drug that a stranger <clears throat> recommended I've, to him. I've after re- saying I've watched you. I don't think he remembers me because he ha- either that or he just doesn't speak to me when I go in there. I'm now. gonna go with B, Alex. So anyway, I say all that to say that JJ and I were at a grocery store yesterday. And I shared with her a little bit about, you know, how y'all get on to me about staying out of people's, stay in your lane, if you want to say. And mm-hmm. I don't care how you say it. Just do it. Anyway. <laughs> so I, did, I tried not to. I, so I'm, I'm trying to be more aware of that as I'm out, you know, shopping and stuff. And I think I only said something to one person yesterday. I don't remember what it was. but I'll be honest. It's weird to me that, that that's a, like an issue. Like, the concept well, of going and talking to a stranger is so daunting and... I just try to help. I, and I was about to say that. to me. I, I, and that's I, all and it I is. It. And I see it. Like, I understand your motivation. Like I, I said, it's just two very different personality types. And like, you struggling with it is such a foreign concept because doing it seems it's, horrible. I, well, and, and, and this is... Scary almost. Just if I, if I may. So... Please, you she she wanted to make some cookies last night, okay? Because she was going to a party last night. They were eating supper, so they didn't have any. So I approached the guy that was stocking in that area, and I said, "Hey." The first thing I told JJ was, "Hey, I ought to go in the back like Kevin does and see if I can't yeah, find him." Very a true, very, but you did not. I didn't. So I that's, did. That's good. I did. And we're not so, making fun of Kevin. That's right. We are. So, so I go to the guy and ask him, well, he's, he goes in the back and he's gone, no joke for like 10 minutes. And so I told her, I was like, you know, I said, I tell you what, I said, that's impressive. I said, he's, he's back there looking for this stuff. He's probably smoking a cigarette. He's probably smoking. So he comes, talking to his girl. So he comes back and he, he he goes, (laughs) walking good. He comes back and he, he says, I don't see any back there. We must be sold out. And there's a bunch of stuff back there. Which made sense because he was gone ten minutes. Well, then he starts pulling all the ones out beside what she wanted that was empty. Starts pulling all those out and checking them to make sure oatmeal chocolate <clears throat> chips not mixed in there with right, the chocolate right, chip. Right. And so I just said, it may have freaked this guy out too. I don't know. I just said, hey man, I said I appreciate all the effort you went through trying to find us those. 
I said, that don't happen these days. I said, people don't, you know, they just don't, they don't go to that extent. I wasn't thinking he was outside smoking a Marlboro. Um, and, and he said, no, he said, no problem, man. He said, you know, it's my job. And I was like, well, I said, again, that's, that doesn't happen very often these days. So kudos to the guy at the grocery store last night or yesterday afternoon. That, that's okay, though. That, that, that's, a, that's not weird. No, that I, wasn't no, weird. Because okay. he works there. No, but, yeah. yeah, because the conversation started for, like, your need. Okay. He's an employee. Like it, not trying a, to push you, Mary, on somebody. Right. You're right. not trying to, like, push drugs on Twelve dollars a pill or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? You needed something. He worked there. And when, when he, you, you know, he showed everything, you just gave him a, you know, I appreciate that. I started um, to go up front and tell the manager, too. That, that, call me. I, I did. All right. I get it. Or I call. It. Or call. It. I mean, it, you know, praise, I'm, I'm all about praising customer service. You know yeah. what I mean? I, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I'm this is that. what really happened, though. If you really want to know, like, behind the scenes, step by step, this is what happened. Dude's over there. He's thinking to himself, man, dang, I don't want to go in that freezer <laughs> and stop this stuff. And then Derek comes up. Hey, mm-hmm. man, y'all got some Absolutely. chocolate chip cookies. Like, Let me go check in the back. And he walks in the back. Hey, baby, how the kids? <laughs> <laughs> Everything good? <laughs> No, I'm at work. No, I'm just trying to check this cookies for this old yeah, dude right here. Some cookies or something. I don't Has know. a 10-minute call with his girl, and he walks back out there and tells you a lot of stuff back there, but I ain't no, cookies. I, no cookies. I choose to I choose to go with mine. And then, and, he, and, and he, then, he went and back then, there and went through everything. And then Derek goes, man, I appreciate you going through everything back there. He goes, oh, crap. He thinks I was really living out like I am because I ain't trying to go back in that freezer. <laughs> it's cold. It's I like being out here on the floor. <laughs> Listen, that man said. So he said, "Hey, man, you got. I'm trying to find these cookies." And that man went out and back hit that jerk. <laughs> came back and was just like, "What did you need again?" And he was like, "Some cookies." Damn, dude, some cookies would be cookies. nice. Hold on, let me see some if I can find dough. some cookies, bro. You need a name you can trust. Call Buckeye Preferred Services. They are insured with over 35 years' experience in custom tree felling, crown reduction, whole tree removal as well as stump grinding and cleanup. They are cutting out your problems one limb at a time, serving the greater middle Georgia area and beyond. You can find their Facebook in the description and call them at 478-484-2178 or 478-278-5574. Takes me back to my Publix days. Oh, yeah, when he was torched. <laughs> Did I tell you about that? <laughs> yeah, when you uh, left yeah. on the frozen yeah. stuff. Yeah, bro. I screamed. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, my God, bro. I, 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 I went to work, dude. Like, I think we got I, like three grand worth of ice cream and stuff just melting. <laughs> Listen, I rolled the whole pallet oh out on the God, floor. I rolled so the whole good. pallet on the floor. And and, and, just, and, just and the, the the girl that scans the prices, you know, when she's like she goes around every hour, she come up to me about thirty minutes into the shift. We was doing night shift stocking. She goes up, she goes, "You need to take a lunch break because your eyes are bleeding." And I was, like, right. I was like, "All right." And so All right. I go I go to the the, the the guy that's in charge, and I go, "I I know I ain't been here for thirty minutes, but I'm going and take my lunch. I got stuff to take care of." He goes, uh, "Hey man, it's your lunch. Take it whenever you want to." So I'm like, "All right, I'll be back." Talk about understanding. Yeah, uh, he just probably want to get rid of me. Yeah. So I go home. Yeah, I live right. I live store. right down the street. I go he's home. He's gonna talk to strangers and pass out, bro. <clears throat> pass out in my recliner. I woke up. It's daylight, and I'm like, yeah, I think I missed that shift. <laughs> and I called my, I called my boss like on his cell phone. I was like, hey man, like I, I sh- probably should have called in last night. He goes, yeah, you probably should have. That whole pallet melted on the floor, bro. That's so funny. Oh, and we found frozen beer in the freezer too in your backpack. <laughs> so I'd sn- I'd snuck beer in into my backpack oh, and left it in the freezer and it exploded. I mean, that's so good. Oh, man. yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't. And go this back was to work. what three weeks ago? You said, <laughs> <laughs> dude, come on, bro. It was, Jan- it was January, bro. Yeah, it was three months. Yeah. Freaking January. Oh, God. Yeah, that was crazy. I felt bad about that, man. Man, I got to ask you something. So, I, and I thought about this. I was thinking about this the other night as I was trying to go to sleep. You were talking about couldn't get comfortable on your side. Mm-hmm. Did y'all ever, like, argue with yourself <laughs> while trying to sleep? Oh, yeah. So, I usually sleep on my, like, 90% of the time on my left side, kind of stomach a little bit, just kind of sprawled yeah. out towards the wall. Yeah. Not towards Shelly or the dogs or nothing. And, like, that's how I'm the most comfortable, and that's how I usually go to sleep almost every single time. As soon as I get done watching TV, cut everything off, and I lay that way, my brain will automatically start, like, arguing with me 
that this is not comfortable. You need to lay the other way. And like I'll do, I'll, I'll just lay there for like 30 minutes until I finally give in and I'll kind of turn over to the other side. And as soon as I do, get all settled up, you know, put my head back down. As soon as I do, my brain's just like, what are you doing, idiot? This sucks. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm serious every single night. Like, you I talk about me yes, and my I, issues? Yes, I, I got a solution. Listen, I will. And it, like, I, as soon as I turn over the other way, my brain's just like, you're a dumbass. You're I, like, got a a I got a solution. I got a solution. I got a solution. All right, come on with him. You know about when you're going to be going to bed, right? When you're playing a game or if you're watching TV, right? Yeah, like way too late. Okay, so like for me, for me, like my my late. my ideal time to like be be asleep is like ten thirty. Oh God, jeez. Yeah, that's just where I'm at in life, man. You know, because I you gotta, you gotta think. You gotta think a lot. I've of got them. a health alarm set for nine o'clock at chimes. Oh my God, listen to me. I read something the other day that said the hours that you can get to sleep. Before twelve or before midnight are the most beneficial. Huh. I don't think I've gotten one of those hours <laughs> since you got clean. in five years. <laughs> I don't know if I've been to sleep before twelve o'clock. Really? Yeah, yeah definitely not. Since well, I mean, you gotta the, think too. You are you know, I, half I, my age. Yeah, but. I think about like I'll be at my computer till twelve o'clock. Oh, and nah. then I'll go get in the bed and like start nah. watching TV until Jeez. I'm tired. Bro, when we hit making Thursday night, it was like. 10.45, and I was like, I- I'm supposed to be asleep. Oh, my God. We got back at, like, 12, and I watched TV. <laughs> yeah. No. Straight to bed. Straight to bed. But, like, I like to be asleep, like I said, about 10.30, so about 10 o'clock, bro, I got these yeah. gummies. I like where this is going. And I, 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 take, I take these gummies at 10 o'clock. Yeah. All natural. You married? They're made by you, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I got them from my brother. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. I actually take those, too. <laughs> They're fire, man. I've thought about taking Listen, it, melatonin. Yeah. yeah, I've thought about well, taking it. It's more yeah. than just melatonin. It's melatonin. It's all. It's all good stuff. There's no. There's no narcotic stuff in it, of course. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna try to get the narcotic brand. No, 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 man, no. I mean, first, I th- first time I take a it. first time I take a narcotic gummy coffee and ketchup is no longer in service. <laughs> <laughs> I have nowhere to be found, yeah. and I'm not mistaken about that. But no, it, it, they're they're really they're really good, man. They're they're all safe. And you're not gonna have any arguments with yourself. They are good. It's just weird after about like, 30 minutes, man. It's it's a it's a good sleep, and you don't wake up groggy. That's what I love about it the most. But this I need you, I need to, need to do by, something. Brought to you by you, Mary Gummies. And I've, <laughs> and I've definitely had instances where I've tried to go to bed earlier. Uh, and I and sometimes I can get to sleep at a, around 12, but like yeah. trying to do it beforehand um, is not going. Like last night, so I was probably up till probably about three. Good. Oh, got man. here, got up at like 8.30, Good. 8.15, about five and a half hours or so. Be here, right now. But I'll go home, nothing going on today, there's no basketball today. Yeah. I'll go home and take a three yeah. or four hour nap. Yeah, that's, yeah. You know? I just can't um, do the naps, bro. Oh, I love the naps. I don't take I wake up ill, bro. Listen, I can't do what some people do, like the 15, 20 minute power nap. That will piss me off. I'll wake up from yeah. that, yeah. and yeah. I'll, I mean, I'm... Worse than I was before. Yeah, I went yeah. Now, if I can get me a good two to four hours in, yeah, I'm two all right. Four hours. Way it's just like a whole much. new day. I did it one time. <laughs> I, I did it one time. Enjoy a nap. You know, when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> you you hadn't you don't you don't ever take you hadn't taken any since you've been here. Yeah, I have very very few here though. and there. I've watched him take some. The only time That's I take a nap cool. really is if I have. That sounds like a Derek statement. Talk about me. I tell you what I did. Like I, I'd get down in the basement and watch a football game or something like that after right. we shoot the pod, and then yep. I I'd, I'd, I'd turn the lights shoot off and watch the, would, the Falcons game. I but would. you got to think those were the more those were the days that the night before I had lived large. And stayed out till eleven or twelve. DoorDash and come home, played some Madden, and didn't get to sleep till about one o'clock. Yeah, in the and I, I was wiped out. I remember I'd, I would come to the stairs. Yeah, and I would, if I didn't hear yeah. you or anything, I'd start creeping down here mm-hmm. real quick. When I, I hate you said, shouldn't say creeping, just but say I what you say. Creep yeah. down the stairs and look. <laughs> just be, be real. You'd be laid over there snoring. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd, 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 I would take a nap. I don't. I don't think I ever really laid down like upstairs in the bed with the intent, intent of taking it out. Yeah. yeah. I do that every Friday for two hours. Between jobs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a little different, though, so. man, because you're, 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 you're needing to. You need to go to bed at 9 because you got to be up at 1 yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Well, 5. Yeah. But, That's you know, I don't, sleep, I, don't, I don't sleep till 
What time you when you have to be at work at eight thirty, Chris? So you get up at what eight fifteen? Eight fifteen. I get up by rolling six, that sucker by nine fifteen. Uh, no, like seven thirty, seven forty. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, see, like at this new job, especially, like I, I have to most of the time, and I had say I ain't saying I've done it every day, but most of the time I like to get up about two, two and a half hours before I have to be at work, so I can hit the gym. Get my mind right, get my devotion in, get my reading in, get my prayer in, and go to work. See, I do all it's that a, it's, once it's, I get there. Yeah, see, I have to be on. I have to be on game before I. Well, get, it's very get in there. you got to yeah. show up ready to work. Like yeah, I, when yeah, I get there, yeah. and now I do get there early um, on the days I'm supposed to be there at eight thirty. Yeah, I'm usually there at eight eight oh five. Oh yeah, that's you know, true. You know, because you are, whenever you would get, I'd be there making some of that office made, coffee. You know what I'm saying? So like, I use the time from like eight to eight oh five to eight thirty, eight twenty five when everybody else kind of shows up. I use that. To, that's my kind of like give me a cup of coffee, yeah. sit, hang out the back door, hit my vape, you know, watch mm, TV right, or right, whatever. Right. I'm just kind of. Get yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. ready for the day. I don't do that at the house and then leave. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. just kind of get up and, yeah. and brush my teeth and speak. Get ready. Yeah, I just need to grab this cake for mama real quick. And then we can go ahead and go over there. D- this guy again? You have got to be kidding me. Hey, boys, I got y'all's cake right here, man. Oh, I got it. I got it right here. Wait till you get a load of this. D- Derek, come on, man. I got I got somebody way better. Hey, suit yourself, fellas. Always go with someone you can count on. Emerald City Suites is locally female-owned and operated. They have been in business since 2019. They are open Tuesday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. They serve soups, salads, sandwiches, and of course, cupcakes. They offer custom cakes and sweets for your every occasion. Located at 302 Pine Forest Street in Dublin, Georgia, they can be reached at 478-205-5385. Again, that's 478-205-5385. And their Facebook is linked in the description. Get your event done right with Emerald City Suites. That is way better. Speaking of work, you know, I have to make a good bit of phone calls at work, calling people that have come in or calling people that have shown interest or inquired about a vehicle or whatever. And and I have to log these calls, like, you know what I'm saying, so that I can remember and so that management can know, like, where we're at on this, you know. Right. And so I had one... I think she came in like the first of last week and or no I'm sorry yeah last week she came in the middle of last week and so she told me like give me a week give me a shout so I, I try to respect that you know what I'm saying if someone gives me a specific time like mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm give it a week think about it whatever I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much do what they ask man but so I reached back out to her she answered uh, hey what's up it's Brian up uh, up here you know blah she says click and hung up. Love it. Me too. So I have to notate that. My note said, such and such answered the phone, and she either hung up when she heard who it was or dropped the call, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to go with drop the call, dot, dot, dot. She must have been in a bad area. <laughs> that's what she bad sales that's service what, area. That's what I actually logged <laughs> on that call. <laughs> Lord That's pretty uh, I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta do whatever makes you. Gotta you. log something. That's you gotta the log truth, something, you know? man. That's I'm sure. Truth. Hey, we went to Scoops last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? you did. They just opened. It's I like, think. I'm assuming this is a. Ice it's an cream ice cream. It's an background. ice cream shop. I'm gonna tell you, it's in downtown Dublin, Georgia. But when you walk through that threshold, when you walk in that door, and you're inside of Scoops, and you open your eyes, you will swear you're at the beach. Huh. Remember in Santa Rosa, the the the, the uh, ice cream parlor we went yeah. to, candy everywhere, huh? Ice cream for days, stuff up on the wall, the decor. It's like you're at the beach, man. At night, I mean, it's this place is off the charts with coolness. It's oozing cool. I was very impressed. 
just opened. I think their uh, their their little soft opening was Wednesday or Thursday night, mm-hmm. and so uh, we were in there last night, and they um, they were good, and they have this big display, glass display, of probably four rows of candy, chocolate dip, this, that, Oreo stuffed with chocolate, nutter butter, this, strawberry. I mean, you name it, bro. They got it. Yeah. Is that where that stuff upstairs is from? Yep. That's a portion. Yep. Listen, if you were going to fudge dip a nutter butter. You got problems. Yeah, you need to be in jail. That is, that's too much. Let me tell you something. Too much as in good. Too yeah, much yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Listen. <laughs> Let me tell you, bro. Deli- but like, I split it with you, which is not something I ever do with Nutter Butter. Uh, yeah. But like a fudge dip in Nutter Butter. Well, Nate, you can't Nate, do that. Bro, let they me stopped you, by last bro. night at the radio station and brought me some Scoops, ice cream. Yeah. Let me tell you what this girl, right. let me tell you what this girl did. Yeah, you never stopped by my house and brought me no ice cream. <laughs> Where, you live in Cochran. <laughs> we don't even have ice cream. You're as bad as Casey talking about, hey, stop by and see me in the neighborhood. Lee, you live in Scott. <laughs> 50 minutes away. <laughs> hey, drop by when you leave town. You live in freaking bum. Yeah, out there. Come on, you're out, out there, bro. Like, I got to fill up my gas tank before I come out here and see you, dude. Because <laughs> yeah. it's going to take half of it to get there and yeah, half I of it to get back. Half a day off There's no Chevron trip, out dude. there going to your house, Casey. I mean, doggone. But, no, we walk in last night, and there's a little bit of a line. So, we're, we're like, at the back of the line, but we're right there at the, like, checkout counter, the way they have you going in. And here's this big display I'm telling you about. And then the ice cream is a little bit further in. So, you know, you come around a loop, and then you're at the ice cream, and then you come down at the register, and there's this big, huge display. I'm talking about a huge display. This girl says, oh, my God, do I have my pocketbook? And I'm like, it's okay. I've got my card. She says, no, I need to have my card. I'm about to go in. I'm like, okay. Respect. I'm like, okay, cool, man. I respect him. Okay, cool. <laughs> my thought is, she, okay, it ain't like I can't. We finna drop $100. It ain't, it, it ain't like I can't drop $25 in here and get right, some no, candy. Whatever, whatever you want. <laughs> we go around and get the ice cream, and I have the idea because he wouldn't let me buy him Jacks on the River last night. I tried, so I'm like, well, he ain't going to stop me from getting him ice cream. So I message him because we were on our way to the station to visit for a minute, and I, I hit him a message, hey, what kind of ice cream you want? Surprise me. So I did. Get him some cookies and cream. Kind of got to go generic. You know, everybody likes cookies He's and cream. He's very white. I didn't get vanilla. And Pretty so. Close. And so. <sighs> no, it was good. Pretty vanilla close. with Oreos. <laughs> <Yeah>. Whoops. <laughs> vanilla with the cookies. <laughs> and, so, and so we get. I swear to God, this is true. We get to the to the end at the <sighs> register. And the girl's like, can I, can I get y'all anything else? And I'm talking to Carson, one of the oh, owners. Got a list. She looks at the display case and she says, let me get one of each. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. She did, too. Yeah. And they were I'll like, they were like are, you, are, 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 are you serious? I know what I said. Yeah, just one of each. No question. It Absolutely. took them 15 minutes yeah. to bag it and ring it up. I mean, it, one hundred and sixty-one dollars and ninety-two cents later. I respect him. There was a bag with three of the, the box upstairs that four. we were eating out of. Yeah, four. <clears throat> the bag. The owners him. were lined up at the register. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Thank y'all. Y'all come back. <laughs> And but, they're like, can we? Can we? Can we give you some free samples over here? We got some other stuff that we don't have. Y'all come around here, and I'm like. Gonna talk about you on the podcast tomorrow, man. We 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 we're glad y'all like are said, finally yeah. open because I've been waiting on this. And I made the comment to uh, Carson, and I think it was, Car- it was Carson. I remember his name. And then there was a couple other guys that are all co-owners. And I was like, man, this has got a beach vibe. And he goes, you're the first person that said that, but that's the same thing we thought when we came in. Really cool place, man. Check them out. Mm. Will do. Downtown Will Dublin, do. right beside Dino's. Yeah. What what little bit I ate? It was good. It was real good. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? You going to spend 160 bucks for me? I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Let me just Dance say I'm glad. Let me just say I'm glad she had her pocketbook. It was, but it was, it was good. When she, when she came in and she started opening all the boxes, I'm sitting there going, you got to be kidding me. It was me, insane, bro. It, but it did. It was I mean, insane. I, Every, you think of it, it was It was in hard there. for me to eat one thing and walk away from it and then start eating my ice cream. That stuff, it took forever for it to melt, too. That ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. And what I mean, yeah. you know, Chris is sitting going, what do you mean? I'm, I'm talking on the radio, so I'm I got it sitting here. I know what you mean. 
So I'm answering the phones and whatnot, and I, you know, I just get me a scoop every now and then. I, it took a long time for it to melt. Want to know why? Chef talking. The higher the cream content, the slower it's going to melt. So they have uh, high cream it's content. More, it's more fat ratio instead of like a milk and a thinner ratio. Um, so the the ice cream freezes uh, and it will stay frozen at a higher temperature than most of your liquids. Somebody's cooked methamphetamine before. I'm not. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Good, good explanation, yeah. Walter. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it white? You marry. It's white, right? It's white? <laughs> yeah, it's white. white. I want to say right because I went to school with Walter, Walter Wright. Wright, so I always hey, got really? it confused. Yeah, I did, yeah. Walter Wright? Mm-hmm. Walter Wright, yeah. Mm-hmm. Heck of a basketball player. Huh. Yep. Like the Wright brothers. I dunked on him one time. Did you? Oh, my no. God. Like four? No. <laughs> Off of a trampoline in the backyard. Take <laughs> yeah. hey, that wall. Doing trick shots. You Where's know? Jesse now, boy? <laughs> <laughs> For all your professional and customized sawmilling services, contact Custom Sawmilling. They offer any product from low boy trailer flooring, countertops, bar tops, paneling, and flooring for your home. If you remove trees to build your future home, what better way to utilize those trees than making them into a product inside your home? Serving all of Middle Georgia, Custom Saw Milling is proudly veteran owned and operated. Custom Saw Milling is located at 1607 Caps Browning Road, Rents, Georgia. They can be reached at 478-279-3657. That's 478-279-3657. Hey, so Lily, Lily uh, took this little um, pre-test, practice test for her learners. Okay. And she uh, like the computer test. Yeah, yeah, not not the real deal at the DDS, but like I'm I'm practicing. Oh, okay, I'm okay. getting ready to like practice. A legitimate practice. Yeah, like a real practice. No, not like from the DDS. It was like probably something off the internet. Right, right. That's what I'm like a legitimate like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Test, Give like her a score and there. all that. Like this is where you are. You might want to study this everywhere. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So she goes, uh, Dad, I took the uh, the practice test for my learner's permit because you know she just turned 15. I'm like, that's awesome. And uh, I'll tell you too what, what we did on her birthday. And so she said, uh, you want to know what I made? And I'm like, no, nah, not interested. Uh, no, I was like, of course. And she said, a 74. And I was like, dang, that's awesome. What do you have to have to pass? And she said, I don't know. I think a 90. I think it's an 80. And I'm sitting in the driveway, right? And I'm like, no, nah, I don't think it's a 90, baby. That's, that's a little much. So I'm Googling on my phone. And somehow I pulled up what all 50 states require. Huh. And 80 is correct. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Very nice. And so I said, I said, I said, baby, you know, I love to give my baby a hard time, yeah. bro. I just, I love. Sweetheart, that ain't going to get it. I love to get. No, no, no. I went a different route, bro. That's a good route, but I went a different one. I said, baby, it's an 80 in Georgia. You were only six points away. And she goes, that's awesome. And I didn't even study. That's just like what I already know. And I'm like. That's cool, but listen, I know you don't like the study. Girl, you can move to Texas and pass. <laughs> no, you you only got to have a 70 in Texas. She goes, no, Dad. And I go, dang, that's going to be a drive for me to come out to Texas and see you, girl. You think the schools are going to be fun out there in Texas? And she's like, Dad, I'm not moving to Texas. But you ain't got to study for your learner's test that's if you, you moved to Texas. It. You already there, that's girl. It. I know you don't want to go to New Jersey because that's a 72. And you'd have passed in New Jersey, too. That's a little bit too far away yeah. for Daddy to drive that's and right. see you. Yeah. How's your mama going to feel about you moving to Texas? <laughs> you know, they say don't mess with Texas, girl. Just roll with it. Just keep it Wouldn't let her stop, yeah. bro. Wouldn't stop. <sighs> On her birthday, we went and got our nails done. She did her fingernails. And her toes. I did my toes. We get in the car to leave, and she got these longer nails than her mama probably wanted her to have, but she's with sure. her dad, so, you know, that's cool. We can drop her off. Ain't no, ain't no <laughs> length requirements for them. No, I have no hand. length requirement. You know, you get whatever you want, baby. This is your birthday. We'll handle all that whenever we get there. <laughs> that's right. I'm going to drop you off real quick and run anyway. I'm going to shake mama. you up and hand you the mama. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So this girl, this girl gets in the car, right, got these long nails on, and we're – we're riding in Athens, right? I lived in Athens for many years, right? Right. And she's riding, and this is what she's doing on, on, on my on my window, on the passenger window. With her nails, right? And then she's like, tap, 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 tap. Oh, there's Chick-fil-A. 
tap, 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 tap. Over there, there, there's a steakhouse over there. It's so good. Tap, 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 tap. And I'm like, I, I used to live here, baby. I, I know where things are at. You're, you're just wanting to knock them nails on that, win on that window. And it was like, so I broke them. Stop. Liar, liar. So she, she went home with some short nails and some long nails. <laughs> half and half. <laughs> Good gosh. I couldn't take it any longer. Oh. Yeah, right. Nobody believes that. No, no. Nobody None. believes that for a second. No. no. <sighs> what you guys left to do today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always have stuff to do today. Then Sunday's your only day off. I know. What do you do? What's your ideal Sunday? Obviously, no podcast. That's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I got laundry upstairs. It's probably buzzing. I got some some other laundry in the wash that needs how, to go in the dryer. Yeah, but how much how much time can laundry take? I also have, I think, a load of laundry to do. Well, which I got is no time. I've got you know I've got other things I need to do too. You just don't want to share with me. Now you want to be private with your life? You want well, to I, need, I need stuff? to blow the back deck. Your deck. I need I, to blow the driveway. I, was about to, it it is, I know it's small. Not bit where he was just like, it's a nice deck. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's I'm small. Like, it's a, you got a small deck. <laughs> it is, but I still got to blow it. There ain't nothing small about that boy's deck. And then I got to go up here and I got to blow <laughs> blow the deck, the, 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 car, the carport and the driveway. I got a lot. I got. I got a lot. Ask his like, friend Jimmy T. He was gonna give a shout out to it. If there's anything small yeah, about that yeah, boy's yeah. deck out there. Yeah, my buddy Jimmy. He he. Uh, and I'm not obviously. I'm not going into it. But he sent me a text the other day. He watches the. He's still local. He watches the podcast or listens to the podcast too. And thank you, Jimmy T. And he said he was going. He he said you need me to come on and tell a story about that time when we were in in I think we was in Millersville or Athens and we were young. I told him no. We 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 probably won't have him to come on and tell that story. So why? Line it up, line it up, Jimmy. You got my number. No, I, I don't think we need. To, we probably don't need to tell that. Then one. why would you? We like won't put your story? name in it. No, he, but I'm just telling you because that's what he said when he messaged me the other day. He said we were. It was it was a story that maybe it was a story that Carl told. I can't remember exactly what he he. One of anyway. the times you pulled your knife out. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I don't. I, I, yeah, we're we're not we're not going we're not we don't go there. We'll, we'll move on past. We'll move past. <laughs> yes, we'll do one without Derek one day and put it on him. <laughs> oh man, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy sent me a message. No, not about that. No, no, no. no. Okay, he, sent, he, he sent me a message out of the blue, and I work with a Jimmy T. Yeah, okay. You gave him my number. I'm yeah, sure. I okay. did. So I, did. I get a message out of the blue that said, "Hey, it's Jimmy T." Yeah, I need to ask you a question. Where, I'm where thinking it's I my buddy at work, Mary? right, Jimmy T. And um, I'm thinking it's my work buddy, and so I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah, he asked my question. I I had the discussion with him, or whatever, yeah. and I'm still thinking it's Jimmy T from work. This is on like a Sunday two weeks ago, oh, so like funny. I I see Jimmy T at work. <laughs> That's funny. I should have told you. I knew you wouldn't care if I gave you no. No, no, ahead, Lord, obviously. no, bro. No, no. I don't. I don't. I don't care about any of our friends. Man, have my number. Uh, as long as he didn't ask me for something, you marry. Yeah, but you um, know he's but no, I, I, I seen, I seen the other Jimmy T at work, and I almost walked up to him and asked him about oh, our conversation the funny. day before, but I didn't. So then the next day, I'm heading to work, and I and I get a phone call because I put him in my phone, Jimmy T. So then I, uh, or no, I put him funny. in, I put him in my phone as the first, as the guy's first and last name, okay. Jimmy Taylor. Okay. So then I get a call from Jimmy Taylor, and I'm wondering, I'm on my way to work. Why is he calling me? I said, "What's up, man?" And it's Jimmy T. And he yeah. goes, "Hey, man, what, what, what kind of uh, y'all got any Tacomas up there?" <laughs> <laughs> So you are real confused at this point. I go outside and look. And I'm like, <laughs> Jimmy, you've been here longer than me, man. <laughs> we started this dealership the same time in 2016. You've oh, got to know the inventory better than me. Funny. And then it dawned on me. It was Jimmy T. It was Jimmy T. That's So funny. I had to call him back and say, hey, let me tell you something, bro. I thought you were my coworker. That's funny. 
the entire time we were talking yesterday even. Oh, my God. And he just laughed about it. That's and I was like, but, yeah, I, same thing I said to you Sunday remains true with what I would have said to the other right, Jimmy, and I will right. I will find you at Tacoma. Right, you right, know? right. That's but it, it was funny, yeah. Oh, uh, dang. Yeah. So shout out Jimmy T, man. Shout out to both right. of you. You know what I mean? Shout yeah. out all the Jimmy <laughs> T's listening. Well, the work there. Jimmy T don't watch, so shame on you, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy T, you I'm gonna have to tell him tomorrow. I was talking Google. about him on the podcast to get him to watch. Yeah, there you go. Work Jimmy T, you got. I need some more cards too, by the way. Right. Got them. Right. Got stacks. Stacks on stuff. I gave Theo a few of them that I had. Oh God, Thursday night. I should have gave him one to uh, Denny Love. You should have, bro. You I should have. Got a picture with him and everything. Yeah, you should have. He was funny, man. Huh. Yeah, he, he was, was funny. funny. He was very good. I, I legit, I, not to be funny, I legit had to hold back the tears when he ran out on stage. Theo, you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. When Theo ran out on stage, man, I, I, it, it, it was all of the emotion hit me at one time. Like I am finally getting to see, like my biggest hero when it comes to celebrities or you know people on that step yeah that level it was good it was very yeah. good uh i did much better i didn't know how i was gonna do in the public a lot of people setting yeah because uh, i have not really done that a lot since i've gotten yeah. clean yeah um and it was it was all right you know it was all right the show was great yeah you know it was surrounded by drunk people but it wasn't too bad, you know. It wasn't like super unruly, pissing yeah. me off or nothing. You know, I mean, it was it was, it was okay. Uh, and then, like I said, the set was great. The only people um, that pissed me off were the ones that were walking around the whole time. He was, I didn't get that. Yeah, that's disrespectful I, to a comedian. I, I agree, which is why so many people get called out. Yeah, like, yeah, man, you know, yeah. You're gonna get made yeah, fun of. Yeah. Um, you know, you sit down, especially the headliner. I didn't see it that much as Carl did. Carl saw it a lot more than me. I guess he was noticing the ones even behind us because I think we were six rows from the front. So I could see there was a couple of up there in my line of sight. But I would have noticed it. Yeah, and you would have probably went you up and asked them, were they okay? Hey, man, you need <laughs> He's holding the freaking sonar thing. Yeah. Talking about, hey, I noticed the way you walked when you were going through the concession yeah. stand. You act like you got a little bit of problem yeah. in your joints. I got something that will cure that pain. <laughs> I can't. I can't even imagine what I would do if somebody just walked up to me and started telling me stuff like that. Hey, man, I, I noticed you've got a problem. I'm more aware like of it now. I am more aware of it. It's now. not. Listen, Filter just, it, man. You just don't do it. Filter. I, I don't feel like it should be that. Anyway, we're not. I, doing yeah. It. I'm still gonna do it though. So. No, I believe you. We know you will, buddy. I believe you. Um. Lord of mercy, we're hitting about 50 minutes or so. Take now. us out, man. Um. Again, I just thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, Jimmy T and all his uh, cohorts, you know, we appreciate all the views, all the likes, the subscribes, the comments. Just we, we, we appreciate it. Please keep it up. You know, keep showing these videos uh, a lot of love. Uh, it's already we, – we've looked at the numbers and, and the last few videos we've gotten with the, a lot of likes and the views and the comments. The likes and the comments especially are – giving YouTube a reason to promote it to other people. And we're starting to get a lot of views from people who don't know anything about us. You know, it's getting recommended after watching a video. It's getting shown up on people's home pages. Um, so we're able to track that and we're getting a lot of um, traction from that. So we just ask you to continue to do that. Keep it up, you know, comment down below. Uh, continue to like these videos. Um, as always, we want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, Buckeye Preferred Services, Emerald City Suites, uh, and Custom Saw Milling. As always, the links to their separate pages will all be in the description of this video. Um, uh, I think we're trying to get some t-shirts. I don't know what we're doing with t-shirts. Yeah, we're definitely getting, um, we're think, definitely going to get some t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to catch flack about it. I'm just like, I don't. You know, <laughs> you, know I mean? you know we got problems is, when you start just like, What do I got to do yeah. to get a t-shirt? I'm like, I'm pretty sure you talk to the t-shirt guy. <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I think we're just going to – we might just order enough and then keep some stocked up. If you want some, uh, we're, we're going to get some. Reach out to us, coffeeandketchuppc at gmail.com. That's where you can reach out to us for t-shirts, uh, questions about the podcast, questions about advertising opportunities, any way to get up with us. That's the best way to do it. Um, unless you have either Brian or Derek's cell phone number and know them like that, you can reach out to them. Um, I know You do not have my number. Uh, 478-230. <laughs>
Two, not two. A bad start. <laughs> Five, six. Halfway there. I know the last four, too, yeah. bro. Yeah. We're halfway there. There's a few people's uh, numbers that I have memorized, and yours is one of them. Yeah. I don't have anybody's. I have my number, and I think my mom's number memorized. I want to be able to call my daughter, my mama, and you. This guy's looking at me kind of funny. I think he's about to approach me with some new Mary. Can you get here quick? <laughs> Help me. Help me. <laughs> These dudes are pedaling and pushing that you Mary. <laughs> oh, oh, but anyways, thank you for, for, for <sighs> all that y'all continue to do. We really appreciate it. Um, that's been episode 43, you know. Uh, we're glad that we got the audio fixed. Everything's working good. Yeah. Uh, we're excited for what's coming up. We're coming up on almost a year doing this thing. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Almost an Yeah, we're almost a year. Doing, and a big um, reminder, don't forget to spade new to your pets. Yeah. I don't know why he's been doing that here lately. <laughs> I don't uh, either. Yeah, you know. Whatever. You've been watching Bob Walker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Price is right, rerun. Price yeah, I, want is wrong. New, I want a new microphone. I want the long, the slender one. <laughs> yeah, so you can just like walk around the hole. Like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we're rambling and now we're going to be gone. Yep. Y'all have a great week and we will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>